Hi all, in this video, let's learn about what is the difference between monolithic architecture and micro front-end architecture. This is a very basic video and for the beginners. In this video, I will explain you about monolithic architecture with a bus example and micro front-end architecture with a train example to easily remember the topics, okay? And with the monolithic architecture, you can understand this like a back-end, front-end and the database, everything will be in a single place, okay? That is a monolithic architecture. So it is good. It is good for the small scale application and it works fine. So as a time being, like if you wanted to add many features into that system, so it seems to be something like this. So it's like overloaded features. So the monolithic architecture we can resemble with the example of the bus. So where the bus driver, conductor and uh, cleaner, passengers, every, everyone will be at the single point, okay? In this single place, if you are expecting a bus to have a sleeper, uh, and uh, AC coach and other other functionalities into a bus in a single bus. It looks something like this. If the features are overloaded, it seems to be something like this. Okay, that is a monolithic architecture. And if you want to understand about the micro front end, let's understand that with the train example. Here, if you see, we have an uh, engine, and uh, here you have a guard and you have a uh, multiple coaches. If you in case if you want to have multiple coaches. Uh, like multiple platform, like multiple coaches with one with the AC, one with the sleeper, one with the seater. So you can have it here. Okay. Um, but um, for example, like uh, if something goes wrong to one of the coach, you can remove that. So it's like multiple things you can do with the micro front end. So in the micro front end is like different modules. Okay. And uh, we can understand the challenges which we face with the monolithic and the benefits with the micro front end. So let's understand them. So the main benefits with the micro front end is scalability. It means like, as I told, like if the if your requirement is to have a sleeper, okay, sleeper coach, so you can add that feature, okay, and it will not impact this existing system. You can directly attach that here, okay. It's like a scalability. You can scale your system as per your need. Okay, but in, in case of like bus, it may not be uh, possible because it would be structured in that way that if something happens inside, something needs to be removed. So it would be structured in that way. Whereas here, if something is not working, if this coach has some problem, okay, a middle coach or some other coaches, you can remove that. If there is some breaking issue in the, one of the coach, you can remove that, even though the application or the train will work in the same way, it will not stop. So that is the main benefit. That is the scalability and flexibility. So if you're adding any of the new feature, so you no need to worry that something goes wrong. Okay, so if you are adding some feature, it doesn't mean that it will impact other modules, other MFAs, it will not impact other MFAs. That is the main advantage of this flexibility. Resilience in sense, if you're adding one micro uh, front end, so let me show you with an example. So for example, so we have three micro front ends like profile, auth and payments. For example, the scalability in sense, if you want to add one more MFE, you can directly add like this. It will not impact any of this existing system. Flexibility in sense, you no need to worry like you, whatever you're adding to this uh, micro front end, it may not impact these existing micro front ends. That's a flexibility. And resilience means, so for example, profiler AP or profiler MFE is not working. Profiler MFE is not working for some X reasons. That's fine. It will not stop the existing system. Okay, that is a resilience. And there is no technology lock. It means you can develop, you can develop the profile with with React, with Auth, with Angular, and uh, payments with the view. You can have your choice of technology. So you can develop any of the micro front end with any of the tech stacks libraries you wanted. Okay, there is no technology lock here. Whereas in the monolithic, what happens is like if you stuck with any of the technology, the build tools, micro bundles. So like bundling them, everything, it, it needs to have some system. So there would be some sort of technology lock there. Here in the micro front ends, you no need to have the, those things. The foster the deployments. For example, if a simple change you did in the payments MFE, only you need to deploy this part. You no need to worry about these other MFEs. Okay, MFEs in, in here is like micro front ends. Okay, if you, but in the case of monolithic, if you do any of the small change also, you need to redeploy all the modules, everything once again. So that is a, a challenge or disadvantage we see in the monolithic. An advantage in the uh, micro front end is like a small change did here, only this can be replaced or this can be deployed. So it's not like a more micro front end has more advantages than a monolithic like this. So it depends completely upon our projects. 
So if the application or the project is so simple, simple one, a smaller scale application. So then going to the monolithic is a good idea. And as application grows uh, bigger, so then we need to take a decision whether to move from monolithic to micro front end or not. That needs to be considered a lot of parameters we need to consider. So just micro front end is giving some sort of benefits. We wanted to move to the micro front end. That's not a good idea. So down the line, what happens with the micro front ends also, it's maintenance becomes a big problem. So if you have multiple micro front ends, deployment and the maintenance of these repos becomes a, and a challenge. Okay? So it depends upon the application which we have. So this is a basic understanding of what is monolithic and what is micro front end architectures. So this is for the beginners. Hope you get a clear understanding of what is micro monolithic and what is micro front end. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.